Nine months after the Parkland school shooting, educators are constantly enterprising to try to make campuses safe. WPTV News Channel 5's John Shaman today profiles a Treasure Coast school where students are playing a very important role in this. 2,800 kids, a 5,400 acre campus. Lookouts, y'all in position. Students in the aerospace program at Fort Pierce Central meet out in the courtyard with St. Lucie County Sheriff's deputies. Let's do uh, building four. Let's do the senior building, the rooftop. Under the deputy supervision, the students pilot drones that patrol the perimeter. Let's pan uh, from north to south. We start uh, plotting ideas how the bad guy will come and put a bomb or a threat. What the drone technology allows the team to do is get anywhere on campus within just a few seconds. A lot faster than it will take uh, us to get through all the gates, get on our golf carts, or run out and get through all the gates to get out there. The drone will beat us out there and we can have eyes over the over that north fence and over the ball fields very quick. In fact, on this day, the drone spots an open gate and a deputy is dispatched to close it. We were kind of looking for ways to bring responding to those kind of emergency scenarios into our aerospace classroom. The most important thing is that the kids came up to the forefront and they, they identified the concern and, um, and got the plan together. If a threat moves off campus, the drone can track it for up to five miles. We have eyes in the sky, which is uh, very, very important to have today's day and age. In Fort Pierce, John Shaman, WPTV, News Channel 5.